What's up, audio nerds? Welcome to the Audio Hotline. Today I have the Rode M2 in the studio. We're going to take it through some tests. We're going to talk about the specs. We're just going to go over pretty much everything about this microphone. Today I'm using my Zoom H5 to record this microphone, and the gain is set at about 50%. If you haven't watched any of my other reviews of handheld condenser microphones, like the M2, then you wouldn't know that I am a very, very big fan of handheld condenser microphones. I just think they're really nice and convenient, and they usually sound pretty damn good. The convenience of having a condenser microphone in a handheld body is fantastic. You can get a wide frequency response. You can get that nice condenser sound. You don't have to worry about carrying around the giant shock mount. You don't have to worry as much about background noise. And it's in a nice little slim package that's built well. So overall, I am a big fan of handheld condenser microphones, but don't think I'll be biased. I won't. If it sucks, it sucks, and I'll say it. But uh, one other quick confession. Uh, I am a... <laughs> Pretty big fan of Rode microphones as well, but I'm not going to be biased. Even though I do like Rode microphones and I love handheld condensers, and this is both of them, I'm not going to be biased. I really won't. I'm going to try. I'm going to try not to be biased. But don't worry. You can form your own opinion about this microphone. We all have different tastes. We all have different likes. We all have different needs when it comes to audio. You, of course, can decide for yourself whether this microphone is right for you. Well, let's go ahead and jump into some stuff about the M2. Right now, you can currently purchase the Rode M2 on Amazon for around $140, but you can purchase it everywhere else for about $180. That Amazon price will probably go up at some point. I usually see it for $179.99, but there is one issue with buying it from Amazon. Rode will not actually honor their warranty if you buy it from Amazon. I think there was some issue with there being like faked Rode microphones being sold on there or something. I, I don't know all the deets. If you know the details of that story, just uh, deep me up down in the thing. The When you purchase the Rode M2, you will get the Rode RM1 mic stand mount. You will get a nice leather Rode zip pouch that has the Rode logo just so nicely on there. You will get a microphone stand adapter, and then you will get the microphone. When it comes to the build quality of this microphone, I don't have any problems with it. I do think it feels really good. It feels really sturdy. I do think that there are some other handheld condenser microphones out there that may feel a little bit heftier, a little bit stronger. But one thing I will say is that right before I started filming this review, I dropped this microphone right on the grill. And no dent, no noticeable scratch, nothing. Nothing at all. So even though I didn't plan it and I unknowingly did it, I did test out the build quality a little bit and it, uh, it survived. Survived well. Did good. One quick feature about this microphone that I was actually slightly unaware of when I got it, I plugged this microphone in, had phantom power on, which this does require, started talking into it, and I wasn't getting any sound. And I was like, oh, no. So I checked the cable. I try a different one. I use a different interface. I do everything. I do everything. And I'm not joking. This is like a 45-minute period of time. So uh, I may have had a little bit of a rookie mistake, a little amateur move, a little beginner's digest i don't know i don't know what i'm saying anymore turns out this microphone has an on and off switch on the body i should have known that because i've seen pictures of it and it's not like they were hiding it from me you know <laughs> should have known when i looked at this box initially the microphone in this is so dark that i didn't even notice that so i didn't think that it had one so that one's a little bit on me a little bit on the printing of the box but it happens sometimes it sucks, but it happens. With the few handheld condenser microphones that I have tested out, I haven't run into that yet. So that is a pretty unique feature when it comes to a handheld condenser microphone like this. And if you are going to use it for live work, that's an incredible feature. It's amazing. Well, now that we've talked about me wasting 45 minutes of my life due to an on and off switch, let's go ahead and nerd out and talk about the specs. The Rode M2 is considered a live condenser microphone. With a super cardioid polar pattern and a frequency response of 35 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This has an output impedance of 50 ohms, a sensitivity of negative 44 decibels, 
an equivalent noise of 23 decibels, a signal-to-noise ratio of 71 decibels, a max SPL of 141 decibels, and this does in fact require phantom power. This, however, can be powered from either 48 volts of phantom power or 24 volts. When it comes to the frequency response of the Rode M2, there is a drop-off that starts around 100 hertz. Throughout the rest of the response, up until about 8 kilohertz, it's actually relatively flat, and there's only some minor dips throughout. There is about a 2 decibel boost after 8 kilohertz, but it's nothing too serious, just trying to add a little bit of clarity. When I was looking at the frequency graph of this microphone, it slightly reminded me of the Rode NT1. The Rode NT1 is like extremely flat, and this one isn't as flat, but I'm like, oh, this kind of looks like the handheld condenser version of the Rode NT1 a little bit, just looking at the frequency graph. Well, now that we've gone through the overview and we've gotten a little nerdy and talked about the specs, let's go ahead and test this microphone out. I will occasionally put this little windscreen on the microphone while testing it out just so you can hear the differences. If you want to check out this exact windscreen, it will be down in the description. If you just can't get enough of that new microphone smell so you get as close as you can, here's how it would sound. And if you just love the smell of windscreens while you're talking to your microphone, here's how it sounds. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. Now I'm just talking a little bit past the microphone, angling it a little bit, and here's how the plosives sound. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. Now directly into the microphone with the windscreen. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. If you plan on using this microphone while you're typing on a keyboard super hard behind it, Here's how the background noise rejection sounds. If you talk directly into the Rode M2, here's how it sounds. If you talk into the side of the Rode M2, here's how it sounds. And if you talk into the back of the Rode M2, here's how it sounds. If you want to use this microphone for podcasting or voiceover, here's how it could sound with just a little bit of change in EQ and some compression and de-essing. If you want your microphone off camera while you're shooting a YouTube video, then here's how it could sound about two feet away. However, the gain is bumped up to about 55% instead of 50% like it was before. If you are planning on buying this microphone for live use, then here's how it sounds when you're passing it back and forth, and uh, here's how the handling noise is. It's actually really pretty solid. Now that we've gone through the overview, the specs, and the testing, let's go ahead and get to my review of the Rode M2. When I first saw the Rode M2 online, I knew that I'd want to try it one day because of reasons that I said earlier. It's a, it's a Rode microphone. I like Rode. And it's a handheld condenser microphone, and I like handheld condenser microphones. So I was really excited to finally get this and try it out. There have been some handheld condenser microphones that I've reviewed on here that have surprised the hell out of me. I'm always just a little shocked at how good some of them can sound. And this one, honestly, is no different. I like the sound of this microphone. I really do think it is basically Rode's handheld condenser microphone version of the Rode NT1. Don't get me wrong, though. Like, the Rode NT1 is, you know, $100 more. And I would say that that microphone sounds better than this one. But for this one being cheaper and for being in such a nice little compact body, I love this thing. This is awesome. Usually I'm a little bit more mysterious with my review portion and I don't just come out and say it immediately that I like a product, but I, I, <laughs> I had to yell it from the rooftops, man. I love it. I love the Rode M2. Oh, my neighbor just told me to shut the f up. All right. See you, Steve. Have a good one. Asshole. For the most part, I like the accessories that come with this. I like the carrying bag. I always like being able to, you know, put the microphone in one of those, put it in my backpack. I know that that little carrying bag isn't going to completely protect it from it being dropped and potentially ruined, but it's nice for, you know, little scratches and just basic protection. We all need to use protection, even for our microphones. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting a condom around your microphone, but if you don't have a leather carrying bag, maybe it's a good alternative for putting it in your backpack. Who knows? It couldn't hurt. 
Might smell funny. It might taste good if it's a if it's a flavored one. I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't recommend putting a condom over your microphone. I'm just going to put it out there. I don't think it's a good idea. Or do I? I can't decide. I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. The one accessory that I do have a little bit of a problem with is actually the mic clip, which is weird though, because in the past I've actually loved this mic clip. But one thing I've noticed with this particular microphone and this particular mic clip is that this mic clip might just be a little too big for this microphone. And actually this mic clip is the reason that I accidentally dropped this microphone earlier. Earlier when I put this microphone in the mic clip, I just barely turned the microphone a little bit this way and it just fell right out. So that kind of sucked, but if you're careful and really shove it in there, then it should be fine. Like if you put this in all the way, like that's a little too easy to get out of there. So I wish that they didn't put as loose of a mic clip in here. I wish that it was just a little tighter. But the actual build quality of the mic clip is nice. It's just the fact that it's a little too big for the microphone. When it comes to the sound of this microphone, it actually might be my favorite handheld condenser microphone that I've tried so far, but I would love to put it up against the Shure SM86. Maybe we'll get to that one day. I do think it's just a great all around vocal microphone. If you wanna use it for traveling podcasts, great. If you wanna use it live, great. For YouTube gaming, I think this would be great because the background noise rejection was actually really good, especially for this being a condenser microphone. The rejection around the microphone would definitely work well in a live setting. I just think that this is an ideal vocal microphone. So would I recommend the Rode M2? Absolutely. I think that for $180, this is a great microphone. Without further ado, the grade that I give the Rode M2 is an A+. Plus. Road did it again. Ba-na-na. That should be the road theme song for when I like a road microphone on this channel. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this review of the Rode M2. I hope that you found it useful. I hope it helped you decide whether you want this microphone or not. But most of all, I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews, comparisons, tutorials, tip vids. Just a tip! A lot more is going to be coming out very soon. Maybe even some road microphones. And by maybe, I mean definitely. They're yeah, it's it's a definitely. Thank you to all the people that subscribe and like these videos. I appreciate you. And thank you for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you audio nerds next time.